In this GuideCAD tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the drawing tools available under the Drawing tab. The first one is Show Grid. Selecting this displays a grid on all the pages. If we select Snap to Grid, when we use one of the drawing tools, let's use Line Segment as an example, the crosshair will snap to the grid. The Show Subgrid and Snap to Subgrid are the same principles but on a smaller scale. For this tutorial, I'm going to select Show Grid and Snap to Grid. The principles for all the drawing objects are very much the same. I'm going to use Add Line Segment as an example. Click once to define starting point and click again to define ending point. Once a drawing object is selected, it remains active so you can add as many as you like straight away. Hit escape when you're done drawing. The red dots you can see are called construction points. These can be clicked and dragged to modify the object. Double click an object to explore its properties, where you can adjust properties such as color, width and style. If I adjust one of these properties, all future drawing objects will adopt the same properties. For example, I'll change the color to blue. Click OK. Now all drawing objects I add from now on will be blue. while the objects that already existed before I made the change remain the same. There are two different ways to copy and paste. The first method is to right click an object, then select copy, right click anywhere on the drawing, click paste, then left click to drop the object. The hotkeys Ctrl C and Ctrl V can also be used. The second method is to simply click and drag the object, but to hold the control key when releasing the mouse button. SkyCAD will ask how many copies you want. Let's say five. Five lines will be copied equidistant from each other. All of these copy and paste principles can be used on multiple objects or even entire motor starters. Let's go through some of the other tools. Add rectangle, click to define the first corner, and click again to define the opposite corner. Hit escape when you're done. We can click and drag the construction points to modify the object. If we explore the rectangle, we can see that it has a few more properties than the line segment. Closed objects, such as rectangles and circles, can be filled with color. Double click to define a color. Then make sure that the fill box is checked. Click OK. We can also adjust the transparency of the color inside the object. We can even chamfer the corners of the rectangle. We can add a circle based on diameter. Or we can add a circle based on radius. Adding a polyline lets us draw lines that join onto each other. Double click to define the end of the polyline.
or if we hold down the shift key while double clicking, the object will close itself. Adding a spline is very similar to adding a polyline, except it creates a curve. Double click to define the end, or double click while holding down the shift key to close the object. Adding an arc is done in three clicks. The first click is to define the starting point. The second click is to define the next fixed point. The third and final click is to define the final fixed point and shape of the arc. We can add an ellipse. We can add text. Type the text you want shown in the value box. We can adjust the font, size, color, style and alignment of the text. In a later tutorial, I'll explain some advanced and powerful features that can be achieved using text. Adding cross-reference text is a special kind of text used to reference symbols together. Like this, for example. We can add an image. We can add a dimension. Dimensions are added in three steps. First, click to define the starting point. Second click to define ending point. Third click to define where you want the text to be shown. We can double click to explore the dimensions and change some of the properties. I'm going to delete this dimension for now. A revision cloud can also be added. Drawing a revision cloud is very similar to drawing a polyline, except that to close the revision cloud, just double click. There's no need to hold down the shift key. If we have an object selected, some more tools are available under the drawing tab such as rotate 90 degrees left and right, flip horizontally and vertically, rotate. Rotating is done by scrolling the mouse wheel. If we select a rectangle, and select chamfer rectangle corners, we can scroll the mouse wheel to chamfer the corners. We can scale an object by scrolling the mouse wheel. There is also a format painter for copying properties of one object to another. There are also bring to front and send to back tools. Right now, the circle is in front of the line. If we select the line and click bring to front, the line is now in front of the circle.